ask you, uh, Spurs, Kate, why, why are Spurs fans unhappy? Do you know what? I think I've just lost a few brain cells just listening to that. I, I can't even cope. Um, I would offer you mine, Kate, but I haven't got any left either. So I would offer you mine. Um, uh, uh, do you know what? You can't please Spurs fans. I, I've been witnessing meltdowns all afternoon. It just, I can't, just can't deal with it. The first half was exactly what I expected it to be. It was slow. Uh, we soaked up the pressure. Yes, we let in a goal. But then I thought the second half was much better. I thought Dragushin had a much better game. Um, we've had six wins now from our last seven home games. Um, Johnson, again, come on as a super sub, changed the game. Um, yep, Verna, yep, Johnson both need to work on their finishing. But um, do you know what? We had 70% possession, 84% uh, pass accuracy. I don't really understand where the negativity is coming from hey. at this stage of the season. Who gives a shit whether we Kate. fall well? It's the free points. Kate, come on. Kate, you know, Kate. I, I, I would say usually, this is usually the other way around. It's usually me being optimistic and then you going, <laughs> George, George, no, <laughs> hold on there. And then you're giving me the really. I'm gonna to have to give you the re re realist right now. We were we were poor today. We we were really 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 bad today. And as much as I would like to be positive, like, like and look at all the stats and say, Do you know, what? it's not all doom and gloom. It's not like if you look side of the performance itself, it's not that bad. But performance that that we had, it was just poor from front from back to front. I feel like it took far too long to get in a game. This is a Luton team that's littered with injuries, by the way. A lot of their big players are out, and they're battling relegation. We're at home. In the first half, within two minutes on the transition, we get caught out, players out of position, and they find themselves 1-0 up. Yeah, look, it's unlucky at times, but that's just not good enough. I feel like the amount of times that we've conceded, like we, our, our amount of clean sheets we've had this season, we probably had about four or five clean sheets this season. As a team that's battling for top four, it's just not good enough. I'm usually very optimistic about these wins, and I'll be like, you look, the three points are the three points, but I just wasn't convinced by this win that we're going to be progressing in the way that we need to be. Um, the, the, the past couple of performances, apart from the Aston Villa one, have just have been all lo like last minute Crystal Palace. It was a last 20 minutes. We had a little run, get two or three goals. And even today, it felt like the last half hour, we started to build into the game. We started to find our feet. But we're just leaving it too little too late. And we needed Son to score in the 85th minute to then get the 2-1 win. And it's tight. It's tight. Even we've been in these positions before against the likes of Wolves and so on. And we go into the 90th minute. It looks a bit shaky. And we all know once a team builds momentum, they feel like they can come back in the game when there's five minutes left. You can't do that to a team like Luton. They only need one or two set pieces. And all of a sudden, look, it's 2-2. Two, two, and we're two points down and we're not in the top four no more. So for me, I feel like today was just a lot of players were, were not turning up to performance that I needed to see. Madison built into the game for the last... 20 minutes, but that first half was poor. He felt like he was a shell. He didn't really want to take control of the game, and it felt like at half time, Ange told him, this is your team. Show us this is your team. And he started to show a bit of it, but he got hooked. I heard he had maybe an injury, a muscle problem, one of those, but it wasn't good enough today. I'm not going to lie. 2-1 win, but it did not feel like a win at all. Yeah. D Dan, how about yourself? I mean, I kind of, I get where you're coming from, but I, I didn't think Spurs were that bad today, but no. then I'm not watching with any emotion. I thought I just thought you weren't taking your chances, but I, I do get here. Yeah. What about yourself, Dan? I mean, you're very optimistic normally, but it does seem to be George is right. Most of the optimistic fans are angry, and most of the perceived negative fans are buzzing. So I'm I'm very confused today. It's I guess I guess like no offense to UK, but I feel like we have more like higher expectations on our team because we feel so positively about our team. So like when we when we put like a performance like this in the first time, no, I'm being serious, Kate. I'm being dead serious. Like, yeah, higher expectations that we're going to win the league when, at the start of the see, season. Okay, I did not say mean? that. I said if uh, we I went, think you did. Okay, yeah, I said if without injuries, I literally <laughs> said without injuries a million times, we could be in a title <laughs> race, but we wouldn't win the league. Terry, did I, is that what I said or is that, uh, did I say something else? I, I think you I think you said that mostly. I think there was one game that you won where you came on and were like, we're winning the league and everything else. That wasn't, but, that wasn't me. That was somebody else that looks like me that wears that glasses might, and his name is Harry. It might have been Harry. I don't think he looks like you. Yeah. He, he, I don't think he looks like you. But no, 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 I hear you, mate. But go on. Back, back to your, back to your well, point. I feel like the first half was way too slow. Way too slow. I was ready to get my pillow and sit here and go to sleep watching that first half. It was way too slow. The tempo was too slow. We weren't looking to get past the spaces. We were just like passing the ball there. Oh, yeah, we're going to pass the ball to the right, pass the ball to the left. And it was like, like, it was like slow. And I don't understand what happened. But, but when we came out from the second half, way faster, way better. That second half, that's how I want to see this team playing. 
that first half was disgraceful. And the way that we conceded that goal as well, the positioning from the defenders, I'm usually a big fan of this defense. I think uh, we've got one of the best back lines in the Premier League. But the way that we were positioned in that in that moment, in that play, bro, Poro got screened like this was the NBA. Um, Dragusin was out of position. Uh, Udogi got turned by, I, I think it was Ross Barkley. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. No, it was, um, it was, um, shoot. It, it was, uh, who was it that turned Udogi? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But he got turned by somebody. <laughs> and, and I think that, that first goal, the way that the, every defender was stood was poor. But as Kay said, Brennan Johnson came on the super sub. Uh, Nottingham Forest, I mean, do you want another 50 million? Because we could definitely give it to you, mate. We could definitely give it to you. Brennan Johnson, <laughs> it, it's, looking, it's looking good for him right now. Last couple of games, he's been very, very good. But um, Brennan Johnson, I, I really like him in that position where we bring him off the bench in the second half. I think he's great at that. And last couple of streams, I said him playing on the left is a way better player than him playing on the right. Today, he played on the right and still was able to put up the, the good performance. So, I need to keep seeing this from Brennan Johnson to keep giving him more praise and more praise and more praise. But the uh, second half was way better than the first, and the first half, well, I think, was too sluggish. Do, do you know, yeah, do you know what? I, I, for me, I always knew you were going to win. I, I stuck a, f- a few few pennies on it uh, with, like, 15 minutes to go. But this is what Luton have done in quite a few away games and a lot of home games where everyone's sort of beaten them, but it's not really been easy. Does that make sense? And teams can yeah. eat, Like, Chelsea got, like, 3-1 up. And then it looks like they were going to collapse. And Man United, 2 0 up in two minutes, three minutes. And, we, and everyone probably thought, oh, they're going to bang five, six, seven. And we, we just about got over the line. And Liverpool was sitting where they drew. So I think sometimes you have to look at the team and understand what they are and, and everything else. Um, there's some super chats. This is Chelsea fans' self esteem rests on two Champions Leagues. Um, what what self esteem? My rest on this one. <laughs> Next seasons. Why have you got that in your room? <laughs> why the hell have you? Why has a Tottenham fan got a I, I, Champions League? I don't understand why oh, you've got that. It's, man. Not, it's a pre-order. It's a pre-order. Go on, what? Pre-order. I already got it here ready. Don't try that. Your granddad's had that. It's been passed down from generations. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Carlito is a poser. Guy doesn't show his face so he can say dumb things and not get clipped up. Lazy commentary every time. Look, he's entitled to his opinions. I don't agree with a lot of them, but um, it's crazy. But yeah, I mean, you can call out the way I title things all you want, but I stand by my titles. <laughs> stand by them. They are facing expulsion for the Premier League if it goes wrong. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm. I'm out of popcorn already. It's like 2017. Is what Guna Dan says here. Uh, basically, David agrees uh, with uh, Potch's analysis, saying Chelsea's fourth. Uh, by data, even if you expect Chelsea, to... but where they Dave, where David is a little bit where where element of what David's saying is right is if you got rid of fifty percent of this squad that's like twenty one years old and younger, and made them twenty four, twenty five years old and older, I I even with Potch, I think you'd be higher up in the league. I st- I think then you'd be h- higher up, and but that's nothing that... to do with uh, Potch, Terry. That would just be the them their experience, their individual. No, no, experience I, 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 I agree. I agree. I, so where I, th- I think David's right about your, your, a lot of your players, I but then I do think that there isn't enough blame going on the manager because playing people at a position, some of his substitutions, some of his clearly what goes on at half time, it, 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 there's a lull. These things are managerial. The way you're structured to conceding opportunities is managerial. So I think there's honestly truth in both. But for some reason, Chelsea fans seem to have, and I don't know if you see this winter surfer, it's either you're one camp or the other and, and there's very little no balance. Middle in this. No middle. No middle ground. It's like, it's either the manager or all the players' fault. Today, it's both. Because we we can't finish. We haven't been able to finish since 2017. You know, we've always had this issue with finishing. Mm. But I will say this. I, how many times I've been on saying... From set pieces, but all over the place. It seems like we're playing zonal and man marking at the same time. I don't understand this. And also, why does he put like small, uh, small, short uh, footballers on the tallest people? I never understand that. What is he doing in training? He has what he plays once a week. To say that a manager can't have impact from once a week is crazy. Andrews had an impact in Spurs. They only play once a week, so why can't Potch have an impact? And Spurs have got, had a, a, got a whole new squad together. Whether you, they're experienced or not, it's a whole new back four and goalkeeper, midfielder. And, and Sun's the only real one that's been there throughout of all this. So why can't Poch yeah. do it? You know, I, I, I agree. So, 
So, yeah. so Kevin, there's, there's two small points. The, the first point about, uh, again, about uh, how, uh, about Ange, for example, he's had a great first year. Ten Hag had a great year last year. I want to see next year what happens. Oh, I, I, I don't. Andrew, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see. We're talking. Look, look. I'm next year. This is Poch's first, first year. year. Next year we'll call. Yeah, this is Poch's first year. I don't want to see his second year. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm from Chelsea. I'm talking about talk, talking about myself right now. So yeah. So, yeah. I, know, I know. Yeah. So again, yeah, yeah, Ten Hag took United from their worst ever end to the season uh, to third place in a cup, and from last year talking about or their eighth place or something like that to like. Top four, top five, great. I want to see how he goes next year before I judge him as a good manager or not. That's well, what say with, I don't know if you, Terry, I don't know if you, Terry, but agree with this. But I think Man United played crap after the League Cup final last season. Yeah, sure. no, yeah. I mean, it's, no, it's, I mean, it's, it wasn't it's, even like it's, waiting it's, this yeah, season for twelve months. It's 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 been it's been pretty poor in most games. You're right. Uh, well, this was. Year, yeah, uh, today was a shit show. Spurs was weak. Chelsea absolutely crap. Fulham lost. Uh, I'm lost for words. As a gunner, I want Man United to win tonight. Well, so do I. Uh, yeah. Do you know what? what? I didn't watch any football until the three o'clock games. I, I I can't wait to watch the highlights of the uh, Newcastle game later. Terry, sorry, man. Watch Luton go against Arsenal next week and they will destroy them four or five. Yeah, I get that. But that's because Arsenal are, are, are a superior team to Spurs. In, in Maybe not in head-to-head -head when they play each other, but... Well, they are young, Daniel. They, they are. It's superior. like no, I, no, no, I'm, I'm saying, it's no they way, are. wait, 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 you. Squad, are. squad, yes. Starting eleven, no. But oh no, but God. you, but you know, do you want to know how you know that's not true? So what, what are they ahead of you now in the league points wise? What are that's down, you? in my opinion, that's down to the squad because of the injury we face, the yeah, backup but, that we but, have. But is not judging, but okay, but yeah, but they're, they're, they're sort of if they win if they win tomorrow, they're, they're going to be 10, 11 points ahead of you. They keep growing that it's going to end up being like a 15 point gap last year you have closed it slightly it was a 20 plus point gap that points gap between the two of you is not the only indicator but it's an indicator that they are a superior team because yeah. that's the same what? difference that's the same difference between you and bournemouth and you would say you're superior to bournemouth right yeah well, by far but that but i'm but that's the thing though we also but, but got dan 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 but football teams have never been about, not in the modern day game, they're not about your 11, they're about your squad. That's but what that, I was trying to educate in, in the, you at the start of the season, season when you were saying we got a chance of winning the league, when we had the likes of Dyer and Hoybier. Dan, please I did not see that. 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 I'm running out of time. I've got to go for these super chats here. This is